while we don't have the uh, complete data yet, uh, there are hundreds of children have been vaccinated in various uh, research protocols over the last several months. And if anything, the amount of uh, adverse events that we've seen associated with vaccine is actually less than what we normally see with the seasonal influenza vaccine. So in fact, if anything, it's appearing as though this may have less of an effect on children. I think there's been a lot of concern just because of all the attention being paid to this uh, viral infection. Uh, if we had just said, you know, this is a new vaccine in that we're adding new strains as we do every year or two, uh, there wouldn't have been nearly the attention. The problem is that because so few children had existing immunity to it, many more of them are getting infected than would during a normal year. Um, and so what we're seeing is a virus infection which is uh, much more extensive than in normal years. Um, and therefore, along with that, we're seeing an increase in the number of uh, hospitalizations and deaths associated with it. But proportionately, uh, this is no more severe than the standard seasonal flu that we see every year. The problem is that the children who are younger, the six months to four years, uh, do much less well with this. They are much more likely to be hospitalized. They are much more likely to die from this infection. And so even though proportionately there are a few of them getting infected than with the children between four and 18 years of age, uh, the children between six months of age and four years of age are disproportionately represented in the hospitalization and uh, death data that we're seeing in the United States today. The bottom line is I've told my grandchildren I want them vaccinated as soon as it's available for them.